I'm going to walk through a tutorial on how to solve a two-bar truss optimization problem. First of all, I'll visit the optimization course section and then go down to the two-bar truss problem. And then when that loads, you'll see a graphic there of the two-bar assignment. And what we're trying to do is design this system with a design variable being the diameter and then also the height of this two-bar truss, D and H. And if we click on the two-bar assignment, that will bring up uh, some additional details as well as some equations that we're going to be using. The weight, uh, there you can see in the stress and then the buckling stress, um, and then deflection as well. We'll have constraints or th have the weight be the objective on those. So what we want to do first of all is go ahead and create a new folder. So I'll go to New and then Folder and uh, name that uh, two-bar. So I'll just put this on my desktop and then open it up. And uh, with no folder, no files, uh, go ahead and uh, create a new file in there. Now this first one, this first one, I'm just gonna. This is gonna be my model file. I'm gonna call it twobar.apm. If you can't view the extensions on your files, you may need to configure your Windows so that you can see them and change them. When it asks you if you want to change it, just go ahead and click yes. You can use any text editor to edit this. So this is my two-bar truss engineering design problem. So I'm going to create a model end model. And then within that, I'm going to put my model constants, um, my parameters. So constants never change. Parameters can change either by user input or by data. Variables are going to be things that are going to be determined by the optimizer. Intermediates are like uh, temporary variables that we want to set up that relate parameters and variables to the things that we want to calculate in the equation section. So I have these five sections, the constants, parameters, uh, variables, intermediates, and equations. Okay, now we can also solve this. We don't even need to use Python or MATLAB uh, to solve this, but we can solve it at the AP Monitor website through the web interface. Uh, that is one option. I'm going to show how to solve this through Python, though. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to declare my constants. Uh, so first of all, pi, uh, just declare that as a constant. Uh, that will never change. Uh, then parameters. Uh, so I'm going to declare some model parameters now that are going to be important for this optimization problem. So uh, these can be changed uh, either by the user or through input data, but not by the optimizer. So the width, uh, I'm just going to specify that as 60. The thickness is a 0.15. A density is going to be 0.3. And the modulus, uh, that's going to be 30,000. And then load of, uh, this is going to be uh, 66. That's going to be the load pressing down that I need to uh, support with my, uh, my two-bar truss system. And now I'm going to declare some variables that are going to be of interest uh, for this optimization problem. Now these can be changed by the optimizer um, to satisfy the equation residuals or minimize an objective function. So height of 30, diameter of 3. I'm going to put on some constraints, a, a lower bound of 10, an upper bound of 50. And also for my diameter, it's going to be a lower bound of 1 and an upper bound of 4. Now I'm going to also have my weight. Uh, this one is going to be... Um, uh, calculated uh, and then now my intermediate variables um, are, are these are going to be explicitly determined so these are like temporary variables that are not either parameters or variables but they're going to be a function of parameters or variables and, and relate to things that we want to calculate down below like constraints uh, so I have LANG um, and now this is something that's used in a couple different equations area as well uh, I over A um, these are just temporary values that I'm setting up. Now stress uh, is going to be the load times LNG divided by uh, 2 times area times height. And the buckling, I want my stress to be less than the buckling, uh, the buckling stress. And there I have it defined. And I showed those equations before. Deflection as well is going to be uh, load times LNG to the third divided by 2 times modulus times the area times the height squared. Okay, so that's, that's the equation for deflection. Now I want to get down to my equation section. I can use uh, either my parameters, variables, intermediates down here in the equations. I want to minimize my objective, uh, which is to minimize the weight. And then I have some equality constraints as well. 
I can either define my quality constraints in the intermediate section or down here in the equation section. Um, and I have some inequality constraints as well. My weight has to be less than 24. My stress is going to be less than 100. And my stress has also got to be less than the buckling stress. Um, and then deflection, I also don't want that to be more than 0.25. Okay, so now my model is defined, my APM file. And now I want to define a new file. This is going to be my script file, my Python script that's going to run this optimization problem and display some results. So I'm just going to name this my new script, uh, dot .py. And then I'm going to edit it. You can edit it with idle or other text editors. I'm just going to go ahead and um, show this in, uh, this one is in Notepad++. Uh, so I'm going to first of all import my APM libraries. These are just some functions I need. Uh, my, I'm going to also determine my server. This is my, the web server where the optimization problem is going to be solved. So I'm going to solve it on the XPS server. Give the application a name. I'm going to name this as, as TwoBar. Uh, clear. I'm just going to clear any previous applications that have that name. And so I do that with the APM server app clear all command. So it's going to go to the server and clear any application by that name. Uh, then I'm going to load my model file, the one that I just created, which was 2bar.apm. Next I'm going to solve uh, the, uh, the problem on the server. I'm going to go ahead and store the solver output there and then give it the uh, server comma app and then solve command. And that's going to solve the optimization problem, store some of the output in the solver output. I want to print that just so I can see what the solver did. And then I want to retrieve the results from the server. So I'm going to do that with uh, return those to the results and also array um, with the APM SOL function. Okay, now that's going to return it as an array back to Python so I can view the results. So I'm going to go ahead and print some of the results here. Um, I'm going to print the height. Okay, so I'm going to access the, uh, the height value from the results in, in the uh, array variable. And then I'm going to go ahead and access diameter and then also the weight as well. Again, we can change the height and the diameter. And our objective function was the weight subject to some constraints. Now I just want to see all available variables as well. I'm just going to look at the keys. Those are going to be the, the, the string values of all my variables. And then I also want to see all of my results as well. So you can display some of those results and parse them. Okay, and then I also want to open up a web viewer. So I'm going to do that with the APM underbar. Uh, actually, uh, the updated value is APM underbar web underbar VAR there. Um, and then generate a contour plot. Uh, now, now this is going to be uh, generating. Uh, I'm going to use uh, matplotlib and numpy. Uh, these need to be installed uh, with Python. And so I'm going to import those. I'm going to import those uh, those packages. And I'm going to rename pyplot as plt, so I, it shortens the name a little bit later on. Just like I did before in the APM file, I'm just going to define. Uh, my, mo my model here uh, with the same values that I had before. Um, there's density, modulus, load. Uh, there's some analysis variables, the ones that are not going to be changed by the optimizers, but they're fixed. But I'm going to use them to analyze this system. Now I also have some design variables at the, at the mesh points. And I'm going to go from 10 to 30 at two uh, intervals of two, and then also between one and three with intervals of 0.3. And then I'm going to create a mesh grid. Those are going to that's going to create a um, an array uh, for both height and diameter. Now I have my equations and constraints. Now it, it declared as arrays, these are going to be performed. These operations are going to be performed element by element. Uh, so the length, LENG, and area, those are also going to be arrays as well. Okay, now I'm just going to uh, go ahead and write out all of my equations here, my weight, my stress. Um, I'm going to do my buckling next. Okay, so there's my buckling, just like I had it in my in my model. And uh, the the double asterisk that means the power uh, in in uh, in Python. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and create a contour plot, and I'm going to do that. Um, you know, there's some more examples here at this, this address if you want to see some more examples. There's a very active Python 
uh, group on the internet that you can search for help on, on different things. So I'm going to create a new figure there and then create a new contour plot with height, diameter, and weight. And then I'm also going to add some labels there to the contour lines. Now my stress has to be less than 100. And so I'm going to also plot that contour as well with the height, diameter, and then stress as my third variable. I only want to show the 100 value there in my contour. I'm going to uh, make that a black line and set that as a width of 4. Again, I want to give that one a label. Here's my deflection. It's going to be height, diameter, and then deflection. I only want to show that at 0.25 at the constraint and also make that a line width of 4. Okay, now again, uh, just to, to label the value there in the plot, stress minus buckling. I also want that in there, so I'm going to put stress minus buckling. I want to show that at the zero value. I'm going to make that a red line of, of width 4 and then also include my uh, my number in there as well. Now I'm going to add a title to my plot, two-bar optimization problem. I'm going to put an X label and then also a Y label on that plot and then save the figure as a PNG file. So I'm going to do a save fig and save that as contour one. I'm going to create one more contour plot just to show a little bit more detail on there. So I'm going to have some weight contours. Uh, this is going to be high diameter weight, just like I had in the previous one. Uh, the only thing different here is that I'm going to be adding a few more contours for the constraints. So for stress, not only do I want to see it at 100, but I also want to see it at 90 as well, uh, just so I can see what uh, side of the line that is a, has the feasible space. So those are feasible design uh, region. And it's hard to see it just by plotting one line, but with two, you can see that uh, you know you can um, look for the 90. That's a weighting of 0.5 versus the weighting of point, uh, 4.0, which is a much thicker line. So you can see where the feasible region is uh, by plotting these two for each of the constraints. And so I'll do that for uh, I'll do that for deflection and also stress minus buckling as well add some labels to those just so I can tell uh, which ones are which and then again the title and then the X label and the Y label uh, for each of those. Okay then I also want to save this one um, as a PNG file. I'll do this one as contour2.png. Now uh, uh, now the final one is, is very important plot.show uh, that will display the plots. Now also in this assignment is to show a 3D plot. There's a um, a link if you'd like to go and, and see how to do that. I'm not going to show that here in the tutorial on how to generate a 3D plot. Okay, now the final thing I'm going to need is to get the apm.py file. This is the, uh, these are the lib this is the library for working with APM Python. Now I'm going to go to the AP Monitor website and to the Python, APM Python section. Go ahead and download this uh, zip file. And then when I open it up, I'm going to see a couple example files and folders there. The only thing I want is the apm.py. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to paste it back into my directory on my desktop, the two bar directory, and then paste that in. So now I have these three files. These are the ones that I need to run this optimization problem. I'm going to edit this with idle. I can also run the Python script through idle. So now I'm going to go ahead and edit that, open up with idle and bring up uh, the idle interface. And then what I want to do is go ahead and access the uh, run module. You can also select F5 to run it. And then you're going to see the optimization problem run along with the contour plots that we had defined uh, that we wanted to show up uh, to show us the optimal solution. Uh, so there you can see the intersection between the blue and the red line. That is the optim the optimal value um, and the uh, you can also verify those through the web interface. There you can see uh, many of the variables. You can also go and access some other configuration options. If you put your mouse over some of the configuration options, you can see little tool tips pop up that give a brief description of what they do. And I'll, I'll talk about uh, more of those advanced configuration options later. Okay, so now I'm going to close it out. Now I want to take a look at the optimization solution and the uh, solver. Uh, first of all, I look at the number of variables. I had seven variables, uh, equations, five, five equations, uh, some slack variables in there as well. Uh, and then I see the number of iterations that it took to solve. 
It took seven iterations. There you can see the objective function, also the convergence, and uh, you can see the successful solution. There's my objective. Uh, that was the weight, and it took 0.16 seconds to solve. So let me go ahead and close that out. And then I want to take a look at uh, some of the results that were generated. We saved the contour plots. Uh, there you can see a PNG file. Uh, and then you also see in the run directory apm.pyc, that's just a compiled Python file to make it run a little bit faster, and you can delete that if you want to. So that concludes the tutorial for APM Python.